no i i think no i i think we have you you have a reason to to take distance with all this theory but what's interesting is what the concepts you developed i'm not sure if it's totally destroy actually those categories because you know you have some kind of continuum between ludus like explicit structures of play and uh, i think it's pida in greece so it's like spontaneous play and i think all your discussion about vividness i actually ever destroy this continuum or even like specifies it for our particular practice i'm i'm not sure it was what uh, well, i was accused uh, many uh, times in biology of as of, of destroying the way people were looking at it and how dare I do that, especially if, if it made sense. So I guess I'm doing it again. Um, yeah, it's, okay, especially if, it's especially offensive when you make a lot of sense. I know, I know. That's <laughs> my curse. Sorry, Greg, go ahead. Two last points. Uh, first, uh, I only understood why I posted when I've seen the fifth, the end of the fifth video. <laughs> you know, I was always posting, but I, because what, I think I, I mailed you at one moment to ask you a question of sorcerer and, and you were like, oh, post it on this, the website and I post it and I, like, I'm still posting till this time. And sometimes I like, why, why do I do that? It was very clear at the end of the fifth video. And, but I have still one question on the third video. I'm not sure what you mean about idiom. You know, you right. talk very right. clearly why you don't want to use genre. Right. And you criticize the word genre, but you, I think you still, well, I'm still trying to understand what is idea. You know, I think Excellent. that uh, the current Primetime Adventures game is going to be a very good place to talk about that. Um, and I came to my, my favored phrasing about it in the text, writing the text for Champions Now. So the, the relationship among medium, idiom, and genre. Um, and so I tried to be as clear as possible about that in Champions Now. And Primetime Adventures will also be a particularly good place to, to talk about that. Um, insofar as we are doing a science fiction show, but that phrase as we're using it has literally nothing to do with what science fiction shows typically are about. So, um, and it doesn't have to be. But... Um, Anyways, I wanted to check on anything uh, that people wanted to examine. Alexandra, was there anything in there that you found needed clarify? I mean, that, that you agreed with, disagreed with, you know, something to, to kick at or that needed work? Um, I have to say, like, frankly, that the, um, the video is very hard for me to, to grasp, to understand it. Um, and, um, there are some, uh, I don't know, kind of phrases, uh, you use a lot. Um, like, I'm not talking about it as something, something. Uh, or something different. Um, and it is so much about what you're not going to talk about right. that right. I'm, right. Yeah. that it's hard to grasp what it is about. Um, I, I found yeah. it was, it was too a problem for me when I was reading the Circle of Hands, uh, book. Um, um, I had the feeling for this that it was kind of like um, trying to explain to someone a feeling, um, a philosophy of, of, of doing something of life or, or whatever. So it wasn't, I know. It wasn't instructive. It was like trying to, f for me to understand what you're thinking. It's super hard. Like, really. Right. Well, I think that's a good point. And um, one of the points I'm pulling out of what you're saying has to do with attempting to define myself in the negative, which is to say, you know, describing what, it, what it's not. Um, when used as a powerful reference point, 
that, I mean, that can be very valuable, but when used as actually trying to get at what I mean, it's not as valuable, not as valuable. So um, may, yeah. may I add something? Mm -hmm. Um, I found out that uh, in the past, I very much liked the, um, the articles on, on Big Model Wiki because um, there were like, like um, explaining uh, concepts in kind of like short, short article that was easy to like show to someone or like think about it for a while and trying to um to to get what it's about um like in my own pace right. and with with those videos like i managed to uh listen to the first one i tried like really uh with 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 next uh parts but um Maybe it's also that I'm not a native uh, English speaker, but it it was hard to like follow the uh, what what the lecture is about. Okay, I will review that with that in mind for sure. So Zach, yes. So just two two quick things. Um, one, I wanted to follow up on what Greg said, which is that. I also found that when you talked about idiom, it was not really clear how to distinguish that from genre, and that sort of thing could definitely use a little well, more concrete fleshing right. out. So the writing that I've done since then is clearly, I mean, what you're seeing is an artifact of me trying to figure out how to say it. Um, it yeah, with, sure. It began with a, with a Comics Madness post a, a few years ago, and then learning how to say it in a way that's, you know, lays it out strongly. You can see it in a couple of the labs as well um, yeah but. yeah you know, just putting that out there and I, I know you're on top of it uh, but the second thing was uh, you spent a lot of you know kind of going back to talking about what is this activity what is the phenomenology what are we talking about and you spend a lot of time in the videos talking and comparing uh, role-playing to film and literature which is very instructive and great uh, what I wondered though is and maybe not but you can think about this is it also important to contrast it with a huge emerging new medium, which is video games. And the reason that I say that is because, you know, video games are, are ambiguous, you know, like ubiquitous now, right? That's, it's important well, that people- that, They've appropriated the name role playing for a long time, so. Correct, correct. And here's the distinction that I think is really relevant there is that when you are playing a video game, designers have have sort of preset a bunch of structures and you can bounce around in those structures to various degrees of freedom but fundamentally those structures exist for you to bounce around within but in a role-playing game we all have to provide the structures together as part of the creative agenda and all that sort of thing and so i i see a lot of like bad behavior in role-playing groups where people import a video game paradigm and they say, oh, the GM is the guy that we can bounce around against. He's the game system. And they sort of relinquish the responsibility for building that collaborative, not collaborative, I know you don't like that word, but you know what I mean. I do, I do. It's, it's collaborative in its way. So Claudio, just a sec. The big difficulty with this is exactly what Alexander was talking about, which is again, defining what we're doing as a negative contrast. So it's really, really difficult. I'm not saying not to do it, um, but I am saying that it is really hard not to have this whole thing just perceived as a rant against a bunch of, you know, you know a, a bunch of other things. So but your your contrast with um, with film and literature, I did not perceive as a rant. It right. didn't come off as a rant. It was super illustrative and clear. So I think there's hope for that, yeah. Yeah, maybe so. May Sorry, I Claudia, add something? Well, um, hold on, let's Claudio hop in and then... Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be super short. So, uh, on, on the video game thing, obviously, you know I have lots to talk about. I'm not going to, like, uh, sidetrack this discussion. We can do it another time. Um, I just wanted to comment uh, uh, on two things that were said bef uh, before I raise my hand. Uh, the first is this, uh, that I think that, yeah, that's true, that it's b that, that behavior of in the GM being the system or whatever was maybe exacerbated by video games, but I think it existed mm. before or or at least grew. 
in parallel with the advancement of computer role-playing games, which don't actually involve any role-playing, but um, it, computer games that are inspired by RPGs. Uh, I think they kind of grew side by side. I don't they think did. it, or I, I don't. There's, yeah, there's, I, a, there's a big I, literature on role playing tabletop and things like Zork and Zelda and stuff. Yeah, like that. exactly. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, and please feel free to shut me up if you think it's too out of uh, the topic, too far from the you know argument of this particular uh, lab. Uh, but I think it kind of is. Uh, so you were talking about the mainstream. Uh, and I don't know who was talking about it actually, um, but it, we were talking about I think Greg maybe uh, or whatever um, about uh, the hobby usually well the hobby whatever RPGs originally being kind of countercultural and that uh, over time they've kind of gone into the mainstream and so this is particularly. Um, it ties into the phenomenology uh, topic, in my opinion, because this is also what makes it so difficult to uh, explain, um, to talk to people even about it, like what is happening. Because I think when the, and I don't want to be elitist or sound like I'm, I'm gatekeeping here because I'm, I'm actually like, I've been trying to get more people into the hobby for, well, since I've been in the hobby, basically. Um, but I think the mainstreaming of the, like when the hobby, the hobby was very niche, we all wished, well, apart from the boom where I wasn't alive during the eighties and seventies or whatever. Um, <laughs> um, but when I was younger, uh, we all wished so that more people joined up, you know, and then now it kind of has happened. And you like, wish for. Right. Yeah, exactly. Careful, right. really careful what you wish right. for. And, you know, there's some positives that. Uh, this for example, really sounds what, like a lab of its own. Yeah, it does. Right. Um, so maybe uh, we should let it be that. Um, so that's right. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Some Alexandra and then Anthony. Is that cool? Uh, I just uh, wanted to say to um, I know someone I don't remember names. Sorry, uh, that the um, t- telling how something is similar. To I know to, to literature or, or something, it's kind of better than telling like how it's different than literature or something. Let's say possibly so. or like yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's it's um I know like something like that. I'll I'll consider this carefully because it is different. So I want to say it's different. So it's hard for me um to, to and i remember so far, so. I, I remember that uh before you you talked about how um you used once an example that it's hard to say how uh energizing of the cell works because it's it's not something you feel but maybe um, maybe it's kind of possible to show how role-playing games work or how some things are by um, pointing out to specific uh, details of... Oh, I would love to. Of, Remember, I did these videos before the last two years of role-playing content yeah. at the site and off-site too by other people doing similar things. 